These are the four Santronics prototypes that I built between 2020 and now, with the oldest on the far left to the newest on the right, which I kind of just decided I'm not gonna finish. So this is the first one I built. This one I built in May of 2020 to June of 2020. It's probably the best because I spent the least amount of time building it and it has the most technology. That's a pre-made robotics kit. Obviously I didn't design the circuit boards, but it was pretty easy to slap together. And basically you have the drive wheels, which drive it forward and back, controlled by these two brush motors. And this vise, which was attached to another big motor right here, which moves the sander laterally across the beam. Then you have three rollers on the bottom to hold it so it doesn't drive off the beam sideways. You can also adjust the throat capacity by loosening these knobs and moving that back and forth. The reason this design had to stop being used is because those brush motors essentially stopped working after a few minutes of use. They burned out, uh, clearly not meant for this application. So on to the next one. This one I built in the summer of 2022. I knew that from the start, I wanted to drive this purely off of mechanical principles, which is why for the first time I built a wooden gearbox and there is a forward reverse feature based on which gear meshes with the rear drive train. And then if I switch direction, and then it also has the roller skate wheels for side bearings adjustable throat, which you adjust by loosening these knobs and pulling that, this side piece in and out. And the, the main issue with this one is that the whole thing, but especially the front, was bulky. This, uh, this sander carriage mechanism, it had to carry the sander the full width of the beam, which made it very wide at the front and narrow at the back. And there was also a big heavy motor on here to drive the gear, which I took off to make it easier to carry. And of course, this is no longer in use. I originally wanted to make the forward and reverse automatic, which is why this mechanism is slightly weird. There's going to be a, a lever on the front here that went down and kicked off when it got to the end of the beam, but that was far too complicated to make it work without computers. So along comes Santronics version 3 and version 3.5. I built this in the winter of 2022 to 2023. And when I first finished it, it didn't have all these wires in the front. It was all just mechanical like the previous one, except I acknowledged that I wasn't going to make the forward and reverse work mechanically. So it just occurred from moving this back and forth with a lever. And that made it a lot easier. I could make the center of gravity lower with the motor and I could make that uh, a lot more, a lot simpler, the mechanism itself. And for the first time I made a double hung uh, drawer slide to carry the sander, meaning it can start off relatively narrow compared to that one at least, but it still has the same capacity for width. When I loosen this out, this whole thing slides forward and it goes out for quite a ways. And this motor right here is also a lot more economical in terms of weight and power. It is only five watts and it weighs about two and a half pounds, whereas the previous one weighed close to 20 pounds. And I also included for the first time multiple relays which could be switched on and off for the sander and the motor and just like the previous design it is driven from a singular wide roller back here with a pvc tube across the steel roller now i computerized this entire thing in the summer of 2023 how it works is the relay box right here is controlled by these two 120 volt relays, which are controlled by the Arduinos. I needed three Arduinos because I used three of these distance sensors, one for the back, one for the front, and one for the sander carriage mechanism. And I all use the I squared C connection. But the problem with the I squared C connection is that I couldn't get it to multiplex on one Arduino reliably. So the solution to that was to just use three separate boards and have them talk to each other through their serial ports. This was a big headache and took many weeks of programming to get it working somewhat reliably. And on top of that, these drivers for the supper motors 
would only allow one to work per Arduino, and especially they wouldn't work all with the screen at once. Yeah, two stepper motors and one LCD screen is a lot of CPU cycles to ask from one Arduino, and there's also a lot of voltage and current. Now, surprisingly, I got the distance sensors to work relatively reliably, at least for, for a few minutes, for a few uses. The problem is that with the I2C, it doesn't work well with these long cable connections. The longest one is this one, actually. It's about 30 inches long, and it goes from the, the colorful cables into the uh, black ribbon connection, where it eventually connects to the third Arduino board right there. And I liked that these distance sensors had interrupt pins so that when it sensed a certain distance, it would automatically trigger the interrupt to stop whatever the computer was doing and cause a reverse to occur. This motor would turn until it hit the limit switch. But more often than not, these would fail to activate because the sensor couldn't initialize or it didn't sense the distance correctly and it was just a, a giant headache, which I didn't want to deal with anymore basically a nightmare. So I resolved that I will never use the I2C connection again, especially not with long cables. And I have since bought some UART sensors, which I'm going to try to make work with the next prototype. Speaking of the next prototype, this is Santronics 4.0, which I built towards the end of the summer of 2023, and, and I continue to work on it in the fall 2023 semester of college. This design is a lot bigger in the previous one in terms of the number of sanders. It has two sanders, which means it doesn't have to miss out on the length of the, of the machine in terms of sanding coverage. These, all these previous ones, you had to turn the machine around or sand the end of the beam, the last three feet of it, yourself. Whereas this one, it can reach both corners because it has a sander on both ends. The problem is that even with, with making a skeleton out of every plywood piece, this is still going to be quite heavy, especially with this drive motor and a rear and front two stepper motors to control the positions of the sanders. And while I am quite impressed with this chain drive mechanism and the, the multiple rollers which drive this thing, I ultimately think I'm going to shelf this prototype. Because I had to sand beams today, and my initial reaction was, ugh, I don't want to use any of my sanding robots. They are far too heavy, and they don't provide that much benefit, especially for small jobs. So out with the old and in with the new. My plans for a new Santronics robot involve simplifying things and reducing weight to an extreme. So the new Santronics device is going to be no bigger than, say, 10 to 15 pounds at the most. And it's going to have one sander. I haven't decided whether I'm going to include dust collection included yet. And it's going to have a very small, narrow carriage at the front. At the front, meaning the middle of the device. And then it's going to have a drive mechanism, which levers back to this point and drives it along the beam surface. That's the beam surface. And so say it's driving along here, but once it gets to the end of the beam, what's going to happen is it's going to flip the drive mechanism over to the other side, which I will draw here. Well, first it is going to crawl back from the edge of the beam a little bit so the drive mechanism can engage. So we don't want the machine to fall off a cliff, what's going to happen is the challenge of this is getting it to balance correctly and apply even weight to the sander. But I have a feeling that can be accomplished by rotating this, this point right here, this pivot point with the wheel between the wheel and the sander effectively. And my plans for doing this involve, rather than using Arduino, I'm going to repurpose this motherboard for a 3D printer. It has the driver sockets for five stepper motors built in, and it can also control multiple UARTs and many has many input and output pins. So that's my saga of all four Santronics prototypes that I've built so far. Given how much time I've spent 
building all these prototypes, I really should have a solution by now that I can you know, grab and, and go use it whenever I need to sand beams. It's a shame that it still has to be an issue in 2023 that I still have to sand my own beams without letting a robot do it for me. But I ultimately want to move forward and build something that is, that is actually useful. And that is where this will come in. All right, I'm tired of looking and talking about these. Let's get to work.